Hey, what's going on guys? This is just a quick video for any of you who own a Fly Products Zenit trike with the cockpit. And honestly, I think any Fly Products trike with a cockpit, this could work. I want to show you a little bit of electrical stuff that I've done to it to just kind of give me a couple extra options. Now the first thing I did is if we look behind the driver's seat, we can see our battery. This is for the electric start. This is what runs all the electrical components. What I added here is a battery cutoff switch. Now I trickle charge anything I have that uses a battery. And what that does is it increases the longevity of the battery, keeps it at that peak performance point, uh, especially when you're dealing with lead acid batteries. So the cutoff switch is right here. When I'm ready to fly, I click it down. When I'm done flying, I click that. And what that does is it shuts power off to the entire trike. So it's actually a, a second safety precaution as well. So the battery cutoff switch is very simple to install. This is the cable right here that originally ran to the battery itself, okay? So basically we install that at the lower point of the cutoff, and then we add a new cable that runs from the upper part to the battery. And everything is working in between there. We hit this button, it disconnects that connection, Flip it down, it connects the connection. Now when I click that switch, that sends power to the cockpit. Now at this point you can see I've got 12.8 voltage for my battery, which is great for me to monitor that while I'm flying. If I ever have any issues with battery degradation, I can tell what's going on before I actually have a problem. When we click on the master switch, that adds power to our altimeter and we're ready to get this thing started up. So the cool thing about this is it's not only measuring the battery voltage, but if you look close, we've got two USB charge ports. I can use those for charging my phone, uh, charging accessories. I plan on taking a few trips in this thing, so it'd be nice to have the ability to charge things while I'm flying, so that when I get to camp or whatever, my things are fully charged. Now when you're looking inside the cockpit, first of all, it comes out very easily. There's just six little Allen screws that hold it in, it pops back. Everything is very accessible back here. There's a lot of space to add wire, to add whatever you want back here, to be honest. It looks a little bit complicated because there's wires going all over the place, but you can see it's actually uh, strapped up very nice and neat back here. They did a really good job for the different sensors, the temperature sensors, the exhaust temperature sensor. So on my particular setup, I've got some different gauges on here, which is great. But there was this opening right here that's basically set aside for some future gauge of some sort. I decided I wanted to put something there and this is what worked out great. Let's move to the back side. So if you've never installed one of these, they're super easy to install. It's just a threaded unit, you can see there. So once you drill out the hole for it, you slide it through and then there's just a plastic fastener that goes across the threads, snug it up real tight. It's got a black and a red, basically our positive and negative. Those can go directly to the battery. I didn't want to have to run cables all the way down through here and all the way back to the battery. So what I did is I found the lead positive and negative, and that comes right over here to our master switch. Let's take a look at that. Now as we come over to this side, basically that positive and negative wire are run through the cables here. I've already zip tied them in. Our positive cable has an inline fuse. I chose to leave that in there. I don't know if it's necessary for that low voltage, but it's probably safe to have it in there to protect any charging devices. So basically to connect this up, you can see we've got the real thick red cable, and then we've got a real thick black cable, okay? That is your primary power that's coming from the battery to the back of this unit. Everything kind of splices off from that. So it made it very easy to identify the primary positive and primary negative. So what I did is I sliced off just a little bit of the casing on each wire and I wrapped the power and the negative and then I soldered that to the actual wire itself and then I just wrapped some electrical tape around it to protect it. So let's move around to the other side and see what happens here. So we've got the master switches turned on. We've got power to the USB hub. 
The engine stop start button is over here. I'm just going to leave that off because we're not going to start it in the garage. So when we're all done flying for the day, we can turn off the master switch. That's great. We're still going to have power to our USB. So if we still want to charge from that, let's say we're just going to be stopped for 10, 15 minutes and we still want to charge up our devices, we can use the house battery for that. Now, of course, you want to be watching it and monitoring it because you don't want to bring your voltage down too low or you're not going to be able to electric start. But we always have the pull start as a backup. Now, you can turn this off. Like I said, it's got a switch on there, so you can just have that as part of your routine. Engine stop, kill that, kill this. Or, like I said, we've got the master kill switch, the battery disconnect. That'll work just as well. So these are two minor upgrades to the trike, but definitely useful. The battery cutoff switch is protecting a $100 battery. So to me, that's an investment, a $12 investment to protect a $100 battery. Hopefully, I get a longer life out of it. And then the ability to charge things in flight. I did a flight the other day. It was an hour and a half one direction, landed at an airport, filled up with gas, and then flew back. By the time I was flying back, the battery in my GoPro was dead. I didn't get the entire uh, trip filmed because of that. So it would have been nice to be able to plug that GoPro in for 10, 15 minutes, give it a little boost while we're flying, and then I could have recorded the, the remaining part of that flight. And my phone, when I landed, I was at like 30%, not a big deal. But if I'm going for a longer trip, something like that, it'd be awesome to be able to charge things while in flight. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If it's something you're wanting to do, you can see it's a pretty simple install. Play around with it, though. It's kind of cool to take advantage of opportunities that this trike has that a foot launch unit doesn't. As we reassemble it and put the plastic casing on the back, you can see we just got these six Allen keys. We're just going to screw in, tighten her down. And she will be back to 100% ready to fly. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.